nice big round full shoulders make a massive difference for your overall aesthetics. With that said, I'm gonna give you some of the best exercises now that you are over 40. Hey man, Gary Walker here and welcome back for another video. All right, in this video, this is going to be a over 40 bodybuilding style workout using dumbbells and we're gonna work on shoulders. So an old school shoulder workout. Here's the thing, I've been coaching, if you've been following me for a while, you know I've been coaching for over 27 years. Not only that, but for the past two and a half years, I've had over 300 men come into my one-on-one -on -one coaching program. So I've worked with a lot of men over the past three years, specifically men over 40. And here's the biggest thing I noticed. You guys have bad shoulders, all right? It's just one of those things, natural wear and tear. A lot of these men have had surgeries, torn rotator cuffs, impingements, a lot of different shoulder injuries. So now that you're over 40, that may be 50, 60, 70 or beyond, then you gotta still train your shoulders, but you need to do things differently. Now, here's the thing. If someone were to come to me and say, hey, what's the one body part I can work on to make me look better? It's going to be shoulders. Shoulders are an illusionary muscle, all right? You're gonna look good in your shirts. Nice, big, round, full shoulders make a massive difference for your overall aesthetics. So with that said, I'm gonna give you some of the best exercises now that you are over 40. And the very first one we're gonna do is a variation of a shoulder press. So you do wanna be able to do some type of shoulder press if possible. The reason I say that, there are some men that start out and can't do anything overhead. If you're struggling to do any overhead movements with no weight, then we're gonna get into some other exercises you can still do after this first one. But if you're able to lift your hands overhead at all, then guess what? I want you to do this shoulder press. Now, if you have a strong back, if you have no lower back issues, you can do this shoulder press exercise standing. However, if you do have some lumbar lower back issues, then it's okay to do this in a seated position. All right, so I'll demonstrate it in a seated position. Basically, the things I really wanna point out here is you wanna keep your palms facing each other. This is a neutral position. This is gonna help your shoulders. It's gonna give you a little bit more clearance, uh, clearance in your shoulder capsule. The other thing I want you to realize is my elbows here are towards the front of my body. They're not out to the sides. This is the normal position that you'll see people doing. You'll see people doing sh uh, a wide, elbow position like this, all right? And again, if you have any shoulder issues at all, you'll probably notice every time you do that, you're gonna feel some grinding in there, maybe some pain, some irritation. So one of the best ways to avoid that is to just bring your elbows from here right in front of your body, just like this. From this position, again, you're gonna keep your palms facing each other. I want you to keep your core tight Look straight ahead, you don't need to look up or down, straight ahead, which is gonna give you a neutral spine and neck. And press as high as you can comfortably go. The reason I'm saying that is because if you have some minimal shoulder mobility, then you're not gonna be able to go all the way up into that far position. And there's not really a need to do that anyway. So basically what I'm gonna recommend, bring it down as deep as you can, press right back up. Deep as you can, press right back up. The other thing with this, reason I say as deep as you can, because you'll see a lot of people do half reps. Right here, basically eye level, right back up. Eye level and right back up. If that's all you can do because of limited mobility right now, that's fine. But your goal should be to get deeper and deeper as you do these. So from here, I want you to get to where your elbows are even lower. You'll notice the dumbbell now is more towards my mouth. That's gonna be pretty good. That's a good range of motion. If you can get this down level with your chin, that's gonna be great full range of motion movements, all right? So from here, let me, let me demonstrate a couple things here. Now that you know the hand position, you know the elbow position, and you know the range of motion, I want you to focus on the cadence. 
It's okay to lift explosively. So when you're pushing this weight up, again, core tight, explode it up, but control it on the way down. I like a three second cadence, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, one second pause, explode. 1,001, two, three, explode. Let me do two more. All right, that is going to be a great exercise for increasing your shoulder mobility, but also strengthening your overall shoulders. The emphasis when you're doing any kind of overhead press, most of it is gonna be on your anterior uh, delts, the front part of your shoulders. So you do wanna make sure you are doing a variation of an exercise that's gonna work those. So again, going back to if you can't do a press, the other exercise you can do here is a front raise. So I would always recommend you doing a press over this exercise first, because it's gonna allow you to increase the load, lift more weight, which is gonna help you build size and strength to your shoulders as well. But again, I know some of you guys will not be able to do that. So if you can't do that, then I want you to do a front raise. And with this exercise, I want you to also keep your palms facing one another, shoulders back, core tight, straight up and control the weight. You wanna control it on the way up and on the way down. I don't want you to thrust it up and drop it down, thrust it up and drop it down. You will see people doing that. All right, that's a recipe for an injury. So basically, again, core tight, shoulders back, slow and controlled, control it down. All right, this is gonna be my option number two for the front delts. Now, one of the more important exercises is the one that's gonna make you look wider, the lateral, all right, or medial delts. The thing about working the width of your shoulders, it's also gonna make your waist look smaller, which is a great benefit, especially for us older guys, because again, a lot of the older guys I work with have a lot of extra body fat around their midsection. So yeah, you do wanna to continue to work on getting that body fat off, but in the meantime, if you're growing your width of your shoulders, it's gonna make that naturally look more narrow. So for that exercise, the first one I'm gonna recommend is gonna be your standard lateral raise. So what is a lateral raise? That's when you see people do this exercise. To do this correctly though, you don't wanna be completely straight out to your side. First thing I would recommend is about 20 degrees. So basically, Instead of being straight out, you wanna gradually bring your arm in front of your body here. The next thing you're gonna do is lead this. When you come out, you wanna lead with your elbow. So instead of thinking about getting the dumbbell all the way up over your head, you'll see people doing that. You wanna get that elbow out, 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 just like this. And you wanna keep your elbow higher or in the same plane as your wrist. So you will see people get their wrist or hand out here like that. That's not what you wanna do. Elbow and wrist should be level right there. Okay, so let me do three or four of these at the 20 degree angle. Again, instead of dumbbells right here beside, slightly in front, bent elbow, nice, slow, and under control cadence. All right. Here's option number two. If you do have really bad shoulders, a lot of men I work with can't do that lateral movement at all. That lateral movement is gonna to lead to a lot of grinding. You may have shoulder ir irritation or a lot of scar tissue in there. The next thing I'm gonna recommend is getting into a scapular range. So this is gonna be more 30 to 45 degrees. Not only are you gonna bring it more forward at that 30 to 45 degrees, but thumbs should be up palms facing each other. So instead of the 20, we're gonna now keep our thumbs up right here. These are gonna be scaption raises. Now this position should feel a lot better for you if you have scar tissue in your shoulders or anything like that. All right, but that's exercise number two. So I'm giving you variations, basically one for the anterior delts, 
one for the medial delts. Choose one of the two I showed for each one of those. Now you wanna round it out. So now we wanna work the back side, which are the rear delts or posterior deltoids. My recommendation for you older guys is a chest supported. So I like to do a chest supported as opposed to just doing a bent over row, uh, bent over position. You can do bent over like this, but one of the things I notice if I'm not there to watch you doing it, a lot of times people aren't really supporting their lower backs and they just naturally bend over, creating a lot of irritation in your lumbar spine. So to avoid that altogether and really isolate those rear delts, I like to just get on a bench, get your chest supported, arms dangling right out to the side. And then you wanna lead with your elbows here as well, out and up. This is a small movement, almost like doing a wide row. So if you were to do a wide back row, it's basically just pulling back. The only difference here is we're coming in and we're going out and then up. Now this is gonna give you that full 3D look. Again, work the front delts, side delts, now rear delts. All right, so that's the next exercise, but I'm gonna give you a bonus one. Another thing that works really well as far as lifting your shirts up, making you look like you lift, look fit, look healthy, is a nice set of traps. So one of the best exercises is a shrug. So we're gonna do dumbbell shrugs for the trapezius muscle. The key to doing these, you will see a lot of people quickly shrugging like that. Your traps need more tension to have any kind of growth. So for that, I mean, you're gonna take the dumbbells, now you're gonna shrug your shoulders as high as you can, hold each one of these for three seconds. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, slowly lower, right back up. 1,001, two, three. This is how you wanna do every one of these. One, two, three. That's gonna give you a lot more tension in the traps. And the other benefit to doing that is you don't have to go as heavy because traps are really strong. Once you start working traps, you'll notice you can do a whole lot of weight a lot of times your traps can handle more weight than your wrists or your hand strength. So to get away from that completely, just hold on to those contractions, those shortened contractions. Three second holds is gonna make a massive difference. All right, so I hope you like this workout. Here's what I want you to do. Three sets of each of these. If you're new and just getting started, do one set of these exercises. Again, choose one of the front delt exercises, one of the side delt exercises, and whichever one's gonna be best for your mobility. One set, 12 to 15 rep range for each one. Now, assess your tolerance. Do you get sore off of that? Is it hard to do that? If you feel good after doing that workout, the next time you do this workout, add a second set. The goal being a third set. Now, shoulders recover quickly as well. They may burn because of lactic acid, but you don't need a lot of recovery time between each set either. So what I typically recommend is about 60 seconds. You're gonna do one of your sets, rest 60 seconds, set number two. Rest 60 seconds, set number three, and then go into the next exercise. So you're gonna do that. This is gonna be a quick shoulder workout, but a phenomenal shoulder workout. So let me know what you think of the workout in the comment section below. Also, if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel. Also share it with some of your buddies or family members, anyone that you think might can benefit from our videos. With that being said, thanks for watching. And as always, get busy, get after it, and God bless.